My name is Victor Nino with Keller Williams Realty and the talk of the day, obviously coronavirus and in my industry, how is coronavirus going to affect uh, real estate in the Austin area? So I just came across this article from today saying that an extra 5 million people have filed for unemployment. This brings the total to 22 million, is it? Yes, 22 million people in one month that are without an income. Now, what does this mean to the world of real estate? Well, as more and more people um, go without a job, go without an income, they won't be able to pay for their bills. And if they can't pay their bills, their credit will be affected. Obviously, the more people that get their credit affected, the smaller the pool of buyers will be. So therefore, what I'm thinking is going to happen, and I hope that I'm wrong, is that more people will be affected, more people's credit will be going down, and therefore the pool of buyers will be a lot smaller, which in turn will lead to uh, lower priced homes. So I think that we will have a decline in prices. Now, for some buyers, if you just think about the price of a property, you might think, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wait and buy later. Well, the thing that you have to take into account is if interest rates go up and the requirements of buying uh, end up getting tightened up, you might not be able to be in a position where you can buy. Now, there are people that are currently employed today that may end up losing their job several months from now, so therefore, they may not even be able to buy for years down the line if their credit gets affected. Now, some people will say, well, if I'm gonna go ahead and buy a property, I wanna make sure I don't lose my job, and if I'm gonna lose my job, I'd rather not buy. Well, just understand that if you're renting, you will still have to pay for having a roof over your head. So therefore, you have to decide, do I wanna go ahead and take a chance, buy a property, or take a chance and just keep renting, knowing that I might not be able to buy down the line. So, Chase just announced, a couple of days ago, I saw an article where they were requiring some borrowers that they need to have a 700 credit score. Just so you know, um, there's a lot of programs or has been a lot of programs where people can buy around 600 credit score, uh, give or take maybe 20 points and they could still qualify. Now this does not mean that no banks are lending for under $700 or 700 credit score, I'm sorry, but it does mean that things may be changing. And therefore, if it is uh, stricter, uh, stricter rules and guidelines for people to qualify, that is going to eliminate a lot of people that could possibly buy from putting themselves in a situation where they can own their own home. So we need to be mindful that it's not always just about price, but also the opportunity for them to be able to buy a property. So um, those people that decide not to do anything, unfortunately, some of them will end up leasing for many years to come. And um, obviously, uh, you need to make sure that you make the best possible decision for yourself and your family, but make sure that you're getting the right information. Have a conversation with a real estate professional so that way you can figure out if it really makes sense for you to move forward and buy a property or not. Now, as I look uh, through the information for what's happening in the city of Austin, I'm putting up statistics on a seven day window, time window, so that we can see what's happening week by week with the trends of how many homes are pending, how many homes went under contract, how many homes were removed off the market, and how many homes actually closed. So for you to get the right information, please be sure to follow my postings share them with friends. I wanna make sure that people are getting the right information because the last thing we want is for people to be making decisions with national news that may not be affecting locally in the same way that they are affecting other cities. This is your friend in real estate, Victor Nino signing out. And please be sure to like this post and again, share it with friends. Take care, bye-bye.